So we're all familiar with special weapons in Splatoon 2. You paint enough turf to fill your meter, you click in the right stick, and then something happens. It depends on what special you have, of course, but it's usually something massive and destructive. Well, usually anyway. In addition to the specials that came in earlier builds of the game, Nintendo has since patched in a couple of new specials. The Ultra Stamp is one of the newest ones, and today we're going to talk about how it works. When you charge special and activate the Ultra Stamp, you hear this sound and the Inkling pulls the hammer out, but then not much of anything really happens right away. The most obvious thing that you can do is press and hold ZR and stamp them, turning you into a crazy hammer-wielding barbarian charging forward and smashing everything. That's not a bad use of the special. It can hit ink jets out of the air. And if someone is right in front of you, it can be hard for them to get away from the high, wide swing. One weakness with this, though, is that if you just keep hammering around the whole time you're using the special, an opponent might manage to stay far enough away that they can shoot you from behind or from the side, or, if they're really brave, from in front, between the hammer swings. This was a lot easier when the hammer was released, but it's definitely still possible. What really makes the hammer unique, believe it or not, is its ability to be stealthy. To compare it to some other offensive specials, an inkjet can splat opponents really quickly with good aim, but it also puts the user up in the air with a big trail of ink showing everyone where they are. A splashdown announces that it's about to fall with this big circle around the landing, and the player at the top is easy to see and can be shot out of it. But an ultra stamp? When you jump with the hammer out and swing in midair, instead of charging forward, you do one quick swing like this. Since you can jump out of squid form, you're able to quickly swim up to someone, which makes you more difficult to spot and gets you there faster, jump out of the ink, and splat them with this jump swing before they know what hit them. This swing hits higher up. So for instance, while this charge attack will not hit the splashdown, if you jump swing, you will actually catch it out of the air. It also hits up over ledges in a way that doesn't always make a lot of physical sense. Now, it may require a little bit more aim. You can see here, when this squid swims off the ledge, they have to turn almost all the way around to get this swing off. So, that's one disadvantage to this mode of using the hammer, but it is still pretty huge. It's a lot easier to aim than some main weapons are. Another way you can splat people with the special is to throw it by pressing the R button. It's difficult to throw accurately, but it's pretty darn satisfying when you yeet that thing across the map and land a hit with it. Now the trouble is that this special is over as soon as you throw it, even if you throw it right away when you start. So most of the time you want to hang on to it for a while and only throw it when you've run out of time to use it. If you want some more videos to study, Check out a player who goes by the tag Arashi. You've already seen him a couple times in this video. He's a player for Low Key Esports, one of the best teams in North America. Arashi is so good at the hammer that his hammer has its own Twitter account, which, statistically speaking, probably has more followers than you do. For more content in Splatoon 2, Smash Ultimate, and more, give Bravis a follow, and maybe even check out one of our youth leagues where we teach the skills and mindset you need to really dig into Splatoon 2 and other competitive esports.